How's it going everybody? Kanozura here with you, and today I'm going to be bringing you a missile mechanic video. Uh, what they're all about, and just like I said, the mechanics behind it. So let's jump right into it. So missiles are naturally native to the Kaldari race. There is the Mimitar, and Amar does use them a little bit, however that's not their main focus. But Kaldari is all about the missiles. The main thing that you're going to want to get first and build up for it is going to be your missile launcher operation. Okay, this is a very key one and it's required for um, transitioning up to the bigger missile platforms. So this is the key one that you're definitely going to need. And of course, scaling this up gives you that 2% boost per skill, which is great. And then after that, these other ones are not ultimately required, but they're going to benefit a lot okay just stick with me here so rapid launch gives you a three percent bonus to missile rate of fire per level again this increases your dps your site and uh your cycling right gives your rate of fire a boost your warheads upgrades gives two percent bonus to missile damage per level again another dps increase the target navigation prediction 10 percent decrease Per level in target's velocity so in transition that means your missiles will be able to catch up to the target more efficiently this is a great one okay don't throw this one on the back burner because against some more lighter targets you'll need this the guided missile precision five percent decrease per level in factor of signature radius uh, which translates to increased damage to smaller targets this is a big one as well when you're using the smaller uh, missiles when you first start out this will not affect you as much but when you get up there to the larger rounds you'll see the effects if you do not train this up so please do not put this one on the back burner either missile bombardment 10 percent increase to maximum velocity per level which translates to increased missile velocity to get uh, to your target faster and catch them to get that impact now we'll look into the, the differences. So there's the light missile launcher one. And as you can see, this is your regular missile launcher, okay? The standard version. And as you can see, the key point is going to be this reload time at 10 seconds. Or you can go with the rapid variant here. But the reload time is 35 seconds. So like everything in EVE, there's a pro and con to everything okay but as you can see here for the light missile launcher one it's 16 uh, seconds per rate of fire but for the rapids it's 7.8 at raw value now of course when you do put this on your simulated fits it's going to be different uh, compared to what skills that you have but these are just the essential skills that you will need um, to boost all these numbers up or lower them rather if for like rate of fire and things like that before choosing one or the other you really have to take into consideration what you need okay so what type of play style are you really looking for some more sustained damage or do you need the damage right here and now which is going to be your rapids however these are more for your uh, immediate fights but the more prolonged fights i would go with the lights uh, because the reload time is not as significant for the rapids. Yes, they'll dish out that damage really quickly. However, that reload time is very significant. Especially during a fight. Um, a PvP fight, that is. You need as much time as you can get. Or you can dish it out. And hopefully you can uh, destroy that target in time before your reload time. Because while you're reloading, he could be dishing out more damage to you. And it could also be healing up all that damage that you just dished out. Next thing we're going to move into is the damage types for each missile. As well as um, what they're basically going to go on. As well as the modules like, as you can see here at the bottom. So the damage types you cannot com you can combinate them. But it's unwise especially for like the metafits and things that 
you should naturally be doing as a regular pilot. However, you can mix and match the damage types here. However, here's what they are. It's your Inferno is always going to be your thermal damage, as you can see here. Your Milner is going to be your electromagnetic EM damage. Nova is going to be your explosive. And Scourge is going to be your kinetic damage. Like I said, you can mismatch them in your launchers, but uh, from my standpoint, it is very, uh, you would say, unorthodox to do that because in everything in EVE, you want to build something for exactly one purpose. And if you mismatching all these different damage types is not doing that at all. So just stick with that as a key. And of course, with these rounds, as you can see as I went through them, there are only one damage type for that one round. There is no mismatch like the uh, Galentia hybrids are thermal and kinetic. No, each rocket is just one single damage type. So keep that in mind when you go out to do PvP or PvE. Find that hole in that enemy and exploit that. Build against them so you have the best effects while you're out there on the grid. Next, we're going to go into the missile platforms themselves. So your short range is, of course, your high DPS. Okay. So, which equates to shorter cycle times, which gives you that higher DPS. So your rocket platform is going to be normally on your frigs and destroyers. Heavy assault missiles or HAMs are going to be on your cruiser and battlecruiser level. Torpedoes on battleship and stealth bombers extra large torpedoes for capital and of course the t2 stuff there is specialization for each and each uh individual platform that being specializing in rockets they'll get specialized t2 ammo uh for that but for the short range stuff your t2 ammo is going to be the rage and the long range is the javelin you should normally uh, pack both of these munitions as well as any other special uh, ammunition that you would you think you're going to need on your adventures out there in New Eden. So for your rage rockets, it's going to be, or yeah, your rage rockets, it's going to be damage, but your range is reduced. Your javelin, you have good range, but you have less damage. As you can see here, we're going at 29.70 for the javelin. The rage is sitting at 51. Point three. For your long range, this is going to be, of course, longer cycle times for that long range. For your lights, it's normally going to be on frigates and destroyers. Heavy for cruiser and battle cruiser. Cruise missiles for battleship. And your extra large cruise missiles are for your capital class. For them, it's going to be fury and precision. Now, for these... You really have to take into consideration of what you are about to run into. So just make sure you preload these, whatever you think is going to happen. Make sure you preload these rounds before you get into the fight. So that way you can dish out that damage as soon as possible. Okay? Dish out all the damage you need. That way you're not sitting mid-fight um, trying to reload and then shoot off your rounds. Okay? Come prepared for the fight. So that way you can capitalize. Next is going to be the modules. There are three modules here. Uh, the first one's going to be your ballistic control system. This one will increase your rate of fire and damage bonus. This is also a passive low slot, as you can see. Next is your missile guidance computer. This is an active mid slot. So this mid slot makes uh, uh, your explosion radius smaller for uh, precision targeting and increases velocity and flight time and can be fitted for scripts such as missile precision script or missile range script to uh, to increase either one so you cannot have both you could have both if you don't put any right if you don't put any scripts in however it is often better to go with one or the other to increase that exponentially as you can see but can just leave it how it is if that's what you feel like but i would suggest putting in the script and of course for these scripts you only need one okay 
and I would suggest having two on board right both of these on board that way you all you have to do is stop the cycle reload that other script and start the cycle again and there you go very interchangeable um, and then that way you have more options available to you while out on the grid and last is the missile guidance enhancer this is a passive low slot uh, which increases uh, your flight time as well as velocity and precision all right guys next thing we're gonna go into is your ship's capabilities and statistics so as you can see here you can show info on your launcher to see what it does but the main thing we're looking for here is your missile attributes all these numbers highlighted in green that means your skills are taking effect to whatever it is the things that you really need to pay attention to here is your velocity uh, explosion radius as well as your flight time and the velocity so all these other numbers here of course the green ones you need to be sure you're looking over them and yeah, trying your best to to memorize some of these guys the one that you really need to memorize is going to be your maximum velocity this one here is very key because while you're out on the grid and there's a fast target out there you need to get rid of him because he's uh gunning you down at range naturally the guys out at range are going to be the fast kiting targets or being around you trying to hold you down or take you down from a distance now if their velocity is higher than your missile velocity here you will not hit them because they will literally outrun that round so this is a very key one to remember that way you can properly know all of your rounds capabilities and you can select the round proper for that fight the next big one here is going to be your explosion radius and then this coincide your explosion radius coincides with the signature radius so if your sig your explosion radius is smaller than the opponent's signature radius that means your uh, rounds impact will be at about a hundred percent when you connect with that target if your explosion velocity is let's say 200 and your opponent is still at 78 for a signature radius your effects would be minimal if you think about it logically like we would a big a big bomb for a small target devastating effects in the real world but here in eve it's quite the opposite so the good rule of thumb is to keep small rounds for small targets and big rounds for big targets now just keep in mind if you do have trouble with knowing this the easy rule of thumb to go by is just simply showing info on that ship and just taking a look at it okay take a look down here to its signature radius and it will tell you of course you're seeing my stats here all the green stats but you can do this on any other ship out there and of course the easy tattletale is by just looking at the symbols of that uh, enemy that being if it's a pve target naturally of course we all want to make our ships the best they can be and what more better way is to put some rigs on there so all the rig slots for missiles are going to increase your cpu usage for your launchers first here we have the small bay loading accelerator which will boost your rate of fire for your hydraulic bay thrusters it's going to be for missile velocity the fuel cache partition is going to be to increase your flight time the uh the catalyst here is going to be used for missile damage the flare is going to be used for increased explosion velocity and then last is the uh, rigor it's going to be used for to decrease that explosion radius so use that accordingly to help best fit what you're up against so we've just arrived on the grid i'm going to select a good point to orbit around so as you can see i have my tactical overlay 
I'm gonna start my standard orbit. This is a really low tier green side, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, finish these guys off real quick. And as you can see, I don't have all my launchers grouped on the same, um, uh, same grouping here. They're not all in one. I have them spread out because launchers, they tend to do a lot of overkill, okay? So I like to split them up into groups. That way, I don't waste a lot of ammunition. Because, of course, as you can see, just one group alone with my skills can kill them off pretty easily. Now, if I just used a whole a whole volley on a single target, a lot of overkill there. So, it's a good rule to try to split them up fairly evenly if you can. That way, you don't end up wasting a lot of ammunition. Now, some few other tips for you. If you are in an in, uh, engagement and you leave the grid, as soon as you initiate warp, while your missiles are on their way to land on the target, they will disappear. They will vanish. In midair, they will disappear if you initiate your warp and, and you head out of there. They will just simply vanish. Um, that's because uh, it could be possibly exploited. And of course, with missiles, there is the flight time, so you will not see immediate effects. As you can see, my effects from nearly 25-30k away, it was very quick because of my skills, as well as my flights, my velocity on these uh, missiles are very fast. As you can see, um, oh no, this is of course if you do that and you select it from your regular inventory, these are the raw values. So when you do get your statistics for other people, go in your fittings and then go in there to tell them your details if you're willing to share. But very fast, very fast for me. And of course, they can be increased with more modules on your ship as well as some implants that you can put on there. But when you're naturally on the grid, you want to play a game of keep away with your enemy so that they don't come close to you. The deadliest things out here on the grid for you are going to be the high DPS brawlers that want to get up in your face and just start hammering at. So you need to make sure if people are burning in towards you, make sure that front guy doesn't get to you. Focus on that front guy and start prioritizing to the furthest guy. So shortest guy to you and then along back towards the furthest guy away. That way you can get rid of these high DPS guys trying to crash into you. That way you can just get rid of them. Mitigate that DPS. But yes, the overall the game, the play style of the missile boats is going to be the game of, of keep away. Right? Keep away from the enemies so they don't come into you and, and deal out all the damage. One last thing before I leave you guys here is going to be the defender launcher. Now, the Defender Launcher isn't kind of what you think it is. So this can be fit on Destroyers, uh, Interdictors, Command Destroyers, and Tactical Destroyers. Now, what the Defender Launcher does, it's capable of shooting down bombs, not other missiles. But these are normally used in Nullsec and Lowsec and Wormhole Space. Because these are naturally banned in Highsec. You cannot use bombs. And of course, if you can't use bombs, you can't use these defender launchers either. So this will naturally not pertain to you at all, unless, of course, you go down and do fleet PvP in those locations. So, however, this is a it is a very good platform, and it just has uh, one missile to go with it, which is the just the defender missile to shoot down these bombs. It is inactive, so it launches the defender missile out. And then we'll seek out a bomb and we'll intercept and destroy it. But, hey guys, that's all I got for you guys. If you guys have any questions at all about missile mechanics or anything, how to play this fit or whatever, please send me a mail. Ken Azura, and I'll see you guys later.